Hello, my name is Chun Sung Park. I'm a prosthetic urologist practicing in Seoul, South Korea. And today I'm going to talk about the diagnosis of erectile dysfunction. So definition of erectile dysfunction is when men cannot have satisfying sexual intercourse two or three times out of ten with his partner. So by definition, uh, morning erection or masturbation do not include it. And patients are usually quite confused, you know. They tell me that oh, I have a, I can do a, you know, uh, have a good masturbation or I have a very strong uh, morning erection. But the only glitch is that I can't really have a, you know, good erection with my partner. So I tell them, sir, that's uh, the definition of uh, erectile dysfunction. So even though you have, uh, I'll say, unwanted erection in uh, good strength, if you do not have when you want it, that's the definition of erectile dysfunction. Because of that, com that kind of confusion, many men uh, think that they, are, they do not have an erectile dysfunction. But when we did a uh, uh, study, it shows that uh, every single man experienced two or three times of the transient erectile dysfunction throughout their life. In the literature, no one really defined that kind of transient period. Let's say, the, is it a, you know, a year? Is it a month? But my personal definition is six months, which means that within the six, six months, if the erectile dysfunction spontaneously gets better, I think it could be a transient thing. Let's say it may come from your physical or mental stress, or you couldn't have enough sleep or, or medical issues. But if it lasts longer than a six months, there is a good chance that you might have organic reasons or something, some permanent damage done to your erectile tissues. So in that case, it's better to check out with your local urologist. The other point is that even though you, your erection or erectile dysfunction recovers within a six months of period, erectile dysfunction impacts men's uh, uh, psychology pretty profoundly. If we fail to have a satisfying intercourse because of the erectile dysfunction, what happens is that they develop performance anxiety. So they worry about their performance anxiety and then it increases the stress hormones like uh, norepinephrine and those stuffs which will inhibit vascular erectile function itself and you will lose uh, erection maybe because of the performance anxiety. So even in an early stage, I recommend to them to come to the uh, urology office and consult with the urolo urologist and get a prescription of the erectile dysfunction pills could be a good idea because by doing so, you can prevent that kind of uh, performance anxiety related erectile dysfunction issues. Even though you might have a transient erectile dysfunction, if you are stressed because of it, it's better to get treated. Because these kind of pills will not affect your system. They do not develop the resistance uh, by default. Generally, they have uh, almost minimal side effects that really doesn't linger to your body. And most of the men, uh, erection is really related with our uh, self-esteem. And it's a pretty private part. We don't want to talk about it. Uh, you can't really get a good consultation from uh, your friends or the, the internet. The best way to uh, deal with it is uh, check out with your uh, urologist. Whenever you, have a, you are suspected of the symptoms, do think about your current conditions, how long it has been, and uh, consider about uh, getting a consultation from uh, your friend or urologist. They generally will be able to give you one of the coolest advice you can get.